In this lecture, we will be seeing another example of Turing machine where we will see how to design a Turing machine for a given language. So our task is design a Turing machine which recognizes the language L equal to 0 power n 1 power n. That means we have to design a Turing machine which accepts this kind of language where the number of zeros should be exactly equal to the number of ones that follows. That means if you have n number of zeros, then you should exactly have n number of ones that follows those zeros. And if you remember, we have talked about this example even in our previous lectures when we discussed about finite state machines. And we saw that we could not design this using finite state machines. Why? Because we need to keep a count of how many zeros are there in order to repeat the exact same number of ones so that we can achieve this language. But we saw that finite state machines, due to their limited memory and due to their limited capability, it was not possible to design this language using a finite state machine. And hence we said that this is not a regular language. This particular language is not a regular language. So we shall see in this example, using a Turing machine, how can we design this language. So first of all, I will explain to you the algorithm of how this can be done. We will design an algorithm which will be able to accomplish this task of accepting this kind of strings. And then from this algorithm, we will see how we can design the equivalent Turing machine for it. All right. So here we have the tape sequence, which is there in our Turing machine. And then the algorithm, it says that the first step says change zero to X. We are going to replace the first zero in our tape to x. And then we will move right until we find the first one. And if you cannot find the first one, you have to reject. That means that string will not be accepted. And if you are able to find a one, you have to change that one to y. And after you do that, you have to move left until you find the leftmost zero in the tape. And this process will be repeated until no more zeros are there. And you have to make sure no more ones remain as well. All right. So don't get confused by seeing this algorithm. I will explain it to you using this tape. So let's say that we have our tape over here. And then there is an input in this tape. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we see that we have four number of zeros followed by four number of ones. So the number of zeros and ones are equal and hence this string should be accepted by the Turing machine that we are going to design. So let's see how this algorithm works. So it says change the first zero to x. So first of all I have my tape head over here and then I see that there is a zero over here. This is my first zero. So this zero I replace it with an x. This is what step one says. Then you have to move right to the first one. So I have to move my tape head right until I find the first one. So I have to move step by step to the right. One step to the right, one step to the right, one step to the right. And when I take the next step to the right, here I find my first one. So when we find the first one, what do you have to do? You have to change that one to y. So I will change this one to y. Okay. And then what we have to do, you have to move left to the leftmost zero. So I am over here right now and I will keep moving left until I find the leftmost zero. So let me move left step by step, one step to the left, one step to the left, one step to the left. And here I find that this is the leftmost zero because here I don't have zero anymore. It is an X. So here I find the leftmost zero and what does it say? It says repeat the above steps until no more zeros are to be found. So I have to do the steps that I just did. So when I find the zero, I just replace it with X. And then again, I have to move right to the first one. So I move right like this. And here I see that this is not a one anymore. This is a Y. So which is the first one now? It is this one. So I will replace this with Y. Now I have to again move left searching for the leftmost zero. So as I move left, this is the leftmost zero. I replace it with X and then I move to the right to the first one. 
now which is the first one this this is the first one now I replace it with Y and then I move left again searching for the leftmost zero which is this one and I replace it with X and then I move to the right searching for the first one which is this one and I replace it with Y now if I look there are no more zeros present and also all the ones are consumed so our tapes looks like X X X X Y Y Y Y and the next symbol is a blank symbol so this string will be accepted when you are doing this like suppose you find a zero and when you go searching for the one if you don't find a one then you will reject that means the number of zeros is not equal to the number of ones so in that way you can find if the number of zeros and number of ones are the same so this is the algorithm that we need to follow now let us see how we can design the Turing machine for this using the transition diagram of the Turing machine so here I have the Turing machine which is going to perform exactly the same task that was written in our algorithm that we just saw before now let's see here we have the starting state which is A and then we have states B C and D and we have the accept state now if you see there is no reject state that is mentioned over here and it doesn't mean that there is no reject state it means that whenever there is a missing edge for any transition that will implicitly go to the reject state so it is just that we have not specified it separately but there is a reject state and where is a reject state any edge that has a missing transition that will go to the reject state all right we already said that Turing machines they are deterministic the ones we are designing they are deterministic so in determinism what is it you need to have a transition for every input for every state and in Turing machine you also have to consider the blank symbol so if you see that in state A it has transition for 0 it has transition for Y and it has transition for the blank but we see that it is not having transition for 1 the symbol 1 so if you get a 1 in state A that means it goes to the reject state and that is true because in the kind of language that we are going to design we want zeros followed by ones not ones before zeros okay so that was just an information now let's see how this works so we are in the starting state and in the starting state we get the first zero so when you get the first zero what you do you replace it with X and you move right so here is my tape head I replace this zero with X and I move to the right and now I am in state B and in state B what happens is that what is the next step as I told you from here you have to go to the right searching for the first one so you have to reach till here and state B will help you do that so in state B what happens whether you encounter a 0 or Y whatever it is we are not going to replace them with anything different but we are going to write the same thing so that basically means that you are not replacing anything all right and then you just keep moving right so if you are getting zeros replace it with zero itself and move right so zero 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 and then here I encounter my first one so when I encounter my first one what happens I have to replace that one with a Y and then I have to move left so I have to replace this with Y and then I have to move left so my tape head was here so it will come over here now and then in state C this state C will help you to go back until you find the leftmost zero so in the algorithm I already showed you after you reach here you have to move left until you find the leftmost zero so the state C will take you left without replacing anything different that means if, if you see a zero you write a zero if you see a Y you write a Y so basically it means you are not replacing anything and you just keep moving left so I keep moving left like this and till when do I move left till I encounter an X so I move from here to here and I come here I come here and when I reach here I encounter an X this is not 0 anymore this is an X now when you encounter an X you understand that following that you will have the leftmost 0 so what happens when you reach this X you move one step to the right so after reaching this I move here and my tape head is over here 
right now. And then what happens? You come to state A and then in state A, if you see zero again, this whole process will continue. And yes, I am seeing a zero. So the whole process has to continue. So this will be replaced with X and then we move right and this will be replaced with Y. And then again, we move left, replacing this with X. And then we move right, replacing this one with Y. And then we move left, replacing this with X. And then we move right, replacing this with Y. Okay, now let us say we reach this condition. After coming to state C, we reach this X over here. And then we move one step to the right. So my tape head is over here now. And what happens? I encounter a Y. So I'm encountering a Y here. And what happens? I am not replacing that Y. I am just putting Y itself. And then I move right. And then I move right. And then what happens? State D will help you to move right again and again. So this state D will help you move right by replacing Y with itself. That means basically not replacing anything. So we move from here to here and from here to here. And then we come over here where we encountered the blank symbol. And when we encounter the blank symbol, what does it say? Move one step to the left and accept it. So my tape head will come over here and then my string will be accepted. So this string 00001111 will be accepted. So that is how this Turing machine works. So we saw how it is working. How it works is that when you see a zero, you search for a one at the same time. And then again, you search for zero. And if you find a zero, you have to search for a one again. So basically what it is doing, it is searching a zero and then it is searching for a corresponding one. And again, it is searching for a zero, searching for a corresponding one for that zero. And at any case, if it does not find a corresponding one for a zero, then what happens? It will not have a transition. So all these transitions are for the accepting conditions. And then if something happens like which, what I told you right now, there is no transition. So it by default goes to the reject state and that string will not be accepted. Now there is one transition that we did not talk about, which is this one. So here in the starting state, if we get an empty symbol, that means a blank symbol, we move left and we accept. Why we do this is because we also want to accept the empty string. If we are having an empty string, that also we want it to be accepted. So that is why we are having this transition. So let's say that we are having an empty string. In an empty string, what is there? It is empty. So in the tape, you will have only the blank symbol. So suppose this is your tape and you have only the blank symbol. So if you see the blank symbol, replace the blank symbol with blank itself and move to the left and accept. Now one question that may come to your mind is, how can you move left when you are already in the leftmost position of your tape? And this thing I already taught you in the first lecture of Turing machine. In the rules, we have learned that if you are in the leftmost cell and if you try to move left, then what do you do? Don't move left. Just stay where you are. So you just stay where you are and go to the accept state. In that way, we can also accept the empty string. That is how this tutoring machine works. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.